Hi, in this video what we're going to talk about is the mobile and web app development process. Now you can see all of the processes down here on the bottom right hand side um, but for this tutorial what I will do is I'll bring up a uh, up-to-date PDF of our process. So first of all what we do we start off with our a very well thought out brainstorm and wireframe session. Um, now this is achieved through a lot of input from yourself to get the idea started. Um, the brainstorming session can be done on the phone, um, online, in person, it does not matter. What does matter is getting your ideas to paper or to print or to image or to scan whatever it is and sending this to us. This will give us a good idea of the project scope which is time, scope, and costs. Now these three paradigms are critical in any project to, to have a, a great outcome. Now one thing that you'll notice here is 50% of your project is devoted to the idea designs and design stage. A successful project will rely heavily on a carefully planned project scope. So a lot of time and effort is devoted to the first three steps. Step three is the design stage. Now, in the design stage, what would happen after we have an understanding of where you want to be? Uh, we'll come up with some initial designs and layouts or color schemes or whatever it is. We, we put something together. Now, you don't have to accept the first batch. This is a three-step process. Um, the three steps are initial designs, refined designs, and a final design or layout. So you can have as many rounds as you, as you like, but um, our packages do restrict our clients to three rounds. In the first round, you'll be able to analyze, you can pick and choose what elements of any um, uh, design you like. Um, you can reject them all and start from scratch, or you can provide us with your own designs not a problem. From there we refine what we've uh, discussed in the, in the first stage and we finally hand over the finished goods ready for development. Now at this stage it is not, that I have to, uh, I have to um, emphasize this, that the designs at stage, at the final design stage are not going to be pixel by pixel identical because what happens in the development stage is coding needs to happen. So sometimes even though the designer has great ideas, sometimes it cannot be possible. And even though we work together, sometimes we we have to let you know that they're illustrative purposes. Designs at stage three are illustrative purposes. Now what happens in development is the coding. So we talk to you and then let you know what can and cannot be achieved. Um, nine times out of ten, most things that pass through the design stage can be achieved, so there's no problems. Um, we follow these steps here in step four. You can see them right there, designing a user interface, the, defining the interaction, um, which is the pinching, the pulling, um, the click in the navigation, implementing the behavior, which is coding, uh, incorporating the data, which is the content and any databases we may have to access. Um, step five is prototype. Now along the way, we send you a prototype, but we are constantly checking for bugs. Um, sometimes bugs do fall through the cracks. Um, it is software, um, so these things do happen. What we do ask you to do is um, have an interactive approach. Um, a good feedback um, document will give us loads of information that we can, we can fix along the way. So the first step here is the unit testing. So as you can see there, unit testing. Um, that is when we start fixing in certain features of, the, of, the, of an app or a web application. Um, final testing, which means what it basically means, literally, this is it. This is the final stage before we deploy. Execution, we deploy, stage six, and handover, we close the project, all the files are sent over to yourself. Um, online marketing, and of course, if you've got some um, online marketing campaigns ready to go, then 
by all means, this is a time to deploy your campaigns. Uh, live, um, yeah, celebration time. It, it's a great win for all involved. Analytics as well. Um, this is an important part of the app world and web applications where what we can measure can be improved. Uh, analytics and reporting, which is part of our monthly support package. Um, one thing that to, to be very, very mindful of is that support is not mandatory. However, software does evolve. Things do happen. iOS 6 or iOS 7 or who knows what platform will be available on the Android, um, Android systems um, a year from now. So these things, you have to be mindful that apps which are stale, apps which are not up to date will be, will be obvious and users may not like that. So that's one thing that you, you should be aware of. Support is very important to keep your idea growing. Now, I do want to talk about other things. A, a lot of people have mentioned, um, Julio, why is the app um, some features more expensive than the original app or why are they 50% of the original build? Now, the, the builds that we, we program in are called object-oriented programming. Now, what this means is let's just take this, for example. This is a Beetle. This is a normal car, very standard, needs a lot of work. However, if you want to take this Beetle and do something like this to it, all of a sudden, we've got the, the, the wheels, the paint, the interior. It's the same frame. However, it has been modified, and these modifications do take time. There's effort involved. This is where we quote you for your project. This is when um, uh, you take that decision whether you'd want to spend that extra amount, and if you see value in your project, if this feature has a, has a critical um, element of success in your project, this is where to, to take the decisive step. We cannot do this for you. We can advise on features that can help you, but this is an internal decision you have to make on your own. But you should be aware that these things do cost extra. Take, for example, a, a let's have a look here. This is a app cafe locator, simple app cafe locator. Not a problem, not a problem. However, what if the client or the project, the entrepreneur wants to know where each client is, where each, um, where each um, cafe loyal customer is. Now it's taken the app to a whole new level where all these features we can build. Not a, not a um, question in the world. We can build these things. However, these features do cost extra to the build. What we do, what we prefer you do is something like this. In software, versioning is so important where we know that the first version may not be the best. However, the second version should be better. And the third version, even better. And this is how we like to do things here at Anything Net. We like to build on what has worked, build the foundations, and build our features from there. We also deploy this in a agile management process. So what this means is that each each week, um, sorry, each version takes, for example, let's have a look here. Uh, we take four to six to sometimes twelve weeks to release one version from beta to version one. We, we recommend all of our clients think about what version they would like to go to market with. This is important as 4 to 12 weeks in, in any market could be a long time. It could be um, a short period of time. This is something that you have to tell us what you would like to launch your app with or, or web app with. This is, an, this is an internal decision that you have to make. Um, we can develop this for you and we will let you know the estimated time it will take to implement these features. This is important. Um, we're here to help, but we just want to let you know that um, these things do take time.